5.3 liter LS versus LT versus hybrid. Which one makes 500 and which one makes a lot more? Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder and as always, welcome to the channel. Yesterday I posted a video where we ran LT based L83 heads on an LS short block and we made good power, but I got the following questions. Richard, why can't I just upgrade the cylinder heads that I have on my LS motor? Why do I have to put LT heads on my LS? Well, today we're taking a look at a comparison running 500 horsepower combinations of an LS because we can upgrade the LS to try to make 500 horsepower. We're going to take a look back at that hybrid combination, the LS and LT, and we're going to try to make 500 horsepower with just an L83 LT motor. I'll give you a hint. They all make 500 horsepower, but one of them makes a lot more. Okay, guys, we're going to start off our comparison between the LS, the LT, and then the hybrid LS and LT, and all these are like over 500 horsepower. I want to demonstrate that unlike the previous video that I did with the hybrid version that made over 500 horsepower, it is also possible to make 500 horsepower with just an LS. All you have to do is combine the right combination of ported heads, camshaft, and intake manifolds on a stock bottom end, and away you go. But unlike that hybrid, it does take ported heads. So let's take a look. This is our stock 5.3, your typical uh, Gen 3 LM7 combination, a dish piston, 706 head or an 862 head, stock truck manifold, very mild camshaft. This is what happens when we run them on the dyno with headers, 350 to 355 horsepower and 375 to 385 foot-pounds of torque. But here are what, this is what our 500 horsepower combinations typically look like. They make, obviously, a lot more power. I'm going to go ahead and bring myself down here in the corner. And you can see this one made 503 or 4 and made 443 foot-pounds of torque. And what was required to go from the base motor up to the 500 horsepower motor were three major things. We had headers. We had a Holly HP management system. We had injectors. We had all that. But you had to have a much better intake manifold. So in this case, we use a fast LSXR or LSXRT with 102 millimeter throttle body. We also use ported heads. In this case, we use TrickFlow 215 CNC ported Gen X heads, and then we use some kind of healthy camshaft. In this case, these camshafts are all going to be in the 230 or 230 plus degree intake duration range. This one was a 231, 239 low 600 lift and 112 to 13 degree low separation angle. And all of these will have that in common. They will all have a camshaft that's in the 230s. They'll all have a ported head. They'll all have some good sort of good intake manifold. Let's take a look at a couple other examples and you can get an idea. Hey, look, this is happening with all these. Here's another one that we ran slightly less torque than the other one, at least in the middle part of the range. But this thing made over 500 horsepower. It had ported KTEC 706 heads. And although they didn't change the valve size and they weren't maximum effort ported, it actually took a bigger camshaft. This one also had a fast LSXR intake manifold and 102 millimeter throttle body, but relied on a bigger camshaft. It was a 625-605 lift, a 234-247 degree duration split, and a 113 degree lobe separation angle. That was a Summit Stage 4. Here is the final of our three that I ran, and this one was uh, the Big Bang Nitro Steel, and it had TrickFlow 220 fast as cast heads. It had a big BTR camshaft. 630, 615 lift, 233, 250, and 113 degree lobe separation angle, and had a Holly High Ram intake manifold with two 4150 throttle bodies. It was EFI. And again, they all have this in common. I want to show you one final version that also made 500. The guys from Brian Tooley Racing ran. Let me take a look at that one. So here we have 510 horsepower, 393 foot-pounds of torque. This one had a uh, L33 or a, basically a flat top 5.3 liter short block. Otherwise, it was stock. This one had the TrickFlow 220 heads. In fact, the same TrickFlow 220 heads that I ran on the Nitrous Big Bang motor that also made 500. This one had uh, the Brian Tilly Racing camshaft, the same one that we ran on that Big Bang motor. The 630, 615, 233, 250, and 113 degree lobe separation angle. They ran their Brian Tooley Racing equalizer intake manifold on it. This thing ran out to 7,500 RPM where it was making good power. So all of these 500 horsepower motors, if you're going to make 500 horsepower with a stock bottom end 5.3 liter LS, it's going to require 
ported heads, a big camshaft, and a good intake manifold. Now let's check out the LT stuff. Okay, now that we've verified the fact that you can indeed make over 500 horsepower with a stock bottom end LS with the right head scam and intake manifold, let's take a look back from our previous video on the hybrid version. That means we take an LS bottom end, basically an LS short block, and then put the L83 LT based stuff on top of that. So this was our stock LS short block. This was a L33, so a flat top piston, 799 head, the L33 intake manifold, and, and or the uh, truck manifold, and the L33 camshaft run with long tube headers. This kind of as a starting point to give us a reference, 365 horsepower and 389 foot-pounds of torque. Here's what happened after we added the L83 cylinder heads, the Brian Tui Racing uh, 230 camshaft, so that was a 230, 240X, uh, 644 lift and 113 degree lobe separation angle. So it was a custom cam designed to allow installation of those L83 heads on the LS block. And it needed a custom cam because <laughs> the valves are in a different position on the LT head compared to the LS head. So the lobes have to be put in a different position. This combination was not run with direct injection. It was run with port injection. It was run with a BTR uh, TR, the Trinity intake manifold, but the long runner version of the Trinity intake, intake manifold, which is already set up to accept port injection. So this was run just like an LS. It was port injected with 80 pound injectors. It was run on E85. It was run with the L83 heads. It was run with the L83 custom camshaft, the L83 rockers, the L83 LT style based uh, long tube headers and run in that configuration. It did indeed make over 500 horsepower, 506 horsepower, peak torque, 417 foot pounds of torque. And you can see it made peak power all the way out in the 7,000 to 7,500 RPM range. So fairly high RPM, even with the longer runner version of that Trinity intake manifold. If you wanted a few more horsepower and wanted to make 510 or 511, you could put the short runner version of the Trinity intake manifold on this combination because you could put any LT based intake manifold on this LT headed LS. <laughs> the cylinder heads are gonna dictate what intake manifold you can use. So you can use any of those LT intake manifolds as long as you have set up for port injection. And this was one of those. Um, you can see high RPM, but making good power. So now let's take a, take a look at a comparison that the guys from Brian Tooley did with this 500 horsepower version of the, of the hybrid versus a 500 horsepower version of the LS that they did. Let's take a look at that. So here we have a comparison between our 500 horsepower LS motor with the TrickFlow 220 heads, the BTR 233 camshaft, and the equalizer intake manifold, and the 500 horsepower version of the hybrid motor, which is basically the same short block as that, but L83 heads run port injected and not direct injected with the Trinity intake manifold and both of these had long tube headers. And the, the hybrid version also had a 230 camshaft. It had 230, 240X camshaft, same lobe separation angle, a little bit more lift, 644 lift, and a little bit more compression because the chamber volume on the L83 head is smaller than the chamber volume on the trick flow heads that were run on this combination. But you can see it's possible to make 500 horsepower with both of these combinations. The big difference really between these two, and guys can talk about the, the change in compression going from a 63 to 64 cc chamber down to a 58 or 59 cc chamber. But the reality is one of these combinations did it with a stock head. The L83 head was stock other than having a valve spring upgrade for the camshaft. Whereas on the LS combination, we needed a good set of cylinder heads, in this case, TrickFlow 220 heads, but even the other CNC ported heads that we ran on the other combinations, 215s or even ported 706 or 799 or 862 heads. So that's the difference. But now let's take a look and see what happens when we build up a combination just using the direct injected L83. Okay, we've taken a look at what happens when we modify our, our 5.3 liter LS, in that case an L33 or any sort of flat top piston version of the 5.3 liter with heads cam and intake manifold. We saw what it took to get it to 500 horsepower. And then we saw what it took to get the hybrid version of that when we take the LT L83 heads and the custom camshaft and the intake manifold and all that. 
to get the hybrid combination up to 500 horsepower. But now let's take a look and see what happens. What does it take to get just an L83, your run of the mill Gen 5 L83 truck motor? How can we get that to 500 horsepower? And actually in this case, it's actually fairly easy. And the reason for that is it starts off already being good, much better than the LS version. In fact, this combination with a stock L83 with headers on it, run on E85, and run with a Haltech management system that does allow a VVT control and the drive-by-wire stuff. So run in this manner, the L83 produced 405 horsepower, which correlates directly with the ones that I've run at West Tech. And this one made 435, 36 foot-pounds of torque. You can see the combination, higher compression, direct injection, VVT, made for a really, really impressive torque curve on this combination. So it's starting out good already, but let's see what happens when we modify it. What does it take to get it to 500 horsepower like the others? In this case, not very much. <laughs> 499 horsepower. Okay, we're going to call that 500. 499 horsepower and 469 foot-pounds of torque came from a fairly small camshaft from Brian Choi Racing, the 217 camshaft. I'll go ahead and put the specs up here. You can take a look at that. And actually a factory intake manifold. This one was an L86 6.2 liter truck intake manifold, but again, a factory truck intake manifold. This small camshaft Stock heads, the only thing we did was a valve spring upgrade so that we could run the camshaft. Otherwise, stock heads. This thing made right at 500 horsepower with a stock L86 intake manifold and a fairly small cam. In fact, if you wanted to go over 500 horsepower, here's what happens when you add something like, in this case, this was an MSD intake manifold, but you could also do that with a Brian Tooley Racing Trinity intake manifold, the long runner version, because it makes about almost identical power to that MSD. You did see that we trade power below 5,300 with the shorter runner uh, MSD intake manifold compared to the L86. So you get to pick where you want to make your power. You want to make it from 5,000 to 7,000 or 7,500. Do you want more torque down below? Pick the intake that you want. But that combination made 535 horsepower. So it did fairly well. So fairly simple, just stock head on the, on the um, L83. Uh, a fairly mild camshaft, that 217 cam, the MSD intake manifold, or the Brian Tooley Racing Long Runner Trinity manifold, then you're making way, not just a little bit over, quite a bit more than 500 horsepower. But if we take a look at what's possible with this thing, let's take a look and see what happened when we ran um, a ported milled 5.3 head and a 220 cam in this thing. This thing was up near 570 horsepower. That's really impressive for a 5.3 there, 569.8. And actually, you could make 575, and I'll show you that just really quickly. If you wanted to put the even shorter runner version of the Trinity intake manifold on there, see, so you, you squeak out just a little bit more at the top, but you trade off uh, a, an awful lot down low. So I don't, I wouldn't really recommend that. Um, I would recommend that longer runner version of the um, Trinity intake manifold that Brian Tooley Racing does or the MSD intake manifold. But, you know, with a, if you, if you do to the L83, what we did to the other versions, uh, a ported head, in this case, we also milled it. So the compression was higher, but a ported head, a camshaft, and this was only a 220 cam and an intake manifold, you're looking at 570 horsepower where we were just touching 500 horsepower with the other combination. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? Is it all compression? Is it all a bunch of baloney? Again, let me know in the comments, but I'm Richard Holder. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. The LS stuff is good, but it also looks like the LT stuff might be even more impressive.